Hi everyone. I thought I would jump in and just do a quick video because I haven't done one in a couple, uh, maybe a week. <laughs> Normally I like to do a couple a week, but I haven't done one because I'm just in a big remodel of my craft space. Not really a remodel, I guess. Reorganization is better. And all the new colors and all of that. And I thought, you know, I'm going to jump in and show you a few new sneak peeks so you can see what I'm working with. So I bought some things that demonstrators were allowed to pre-order. I did not get a ton. I was not heavy on the stamps and things this time because there were so many colors that were coming with new in colors, but also a color refresh of Stampin' Up's core colors. Not only that, but the markers have been re redesigned. So there was a lot of um, ink and coloring tools to get. So I focused on that because I want to have all my colors. I love all my colors. And then I got a few stamp bundles. So I'm going to show you the stamp bundles first because I know you're excited about those. And and I will start, I'm kind of going to go in the order that they are in the catalog, which I can't show you yet. If you've purchased from me in the past, um, I did send them to all of my customers. And I think I've heard from many of you that you've already gotten them. So that's good. Um, and then if you live locally, I will have them at Stamp Camp so I can pass them out. Or you can come by, if you really want one today, you can come by and get one. <laughs> but I do have boxes of catalogs. Okay, this is the first bundle. It's called Beautiful Balloons. And this is a die and stamp bundle. So it is, I'll show you that it is a photopolymer stamp. Look at the size of these balloons. We've had balloons in the past, usually around this size, but this is a giant balloon and I really like that the variety you get here. And there's some nice birthday, um, variety of birthday th things you can put on the front or the inside. So really cute. And I really like the paper that goes with this. I'm gonna show you that, but I do wanna show you the dies because there are more than just what cut out the balloons. Alright, so the dies are really fun and I really wanted to point out that you do get one for the balloons, each of the balloons, which of course makes sense. But then there's this one that's kind of like a group balloon and in the catalog they show a lot of these set up to be like shakers and that's really fun. And kind of what this is for. See this little die here? I don't know if you can see it, but it's little tiny stars and little like weird shapes, rectangly type shapes. And you use this on a bunch of your scrap sheets of paper and get yourself some really fun confetti shapes with the stars and things like that. And you can put those in the shaker. So it's a great way to use up little tiny scraps. I've always got on my desk some little scraps of paper. So that's a great way. And then this is a cute little tassel. You've got stars and we don't have a lot of star dies currently. There are some small ones in the give it a whirl dies, but this is a nice size star. So that's great. And I like to use stars a lot for graduation and stuff like that along with that tassel so I think this tassel will be a great graduation add-on here's a nice tag and then this one here is just a bunch of lines and how they used this in some of the samples is kind of to make like a fringe so you can have it still be connected at the top and then lay a strip of paper and if you're like me your packs of paper always have small little strips of paper in your um, you know, in your scrap bin or however you store your scraps. So you would leave part of it attached and then end the piece of cardstock so that it is off the edge and then you'd get this fringed paper. And so that's really fun. And they showed that in one of the samples, which I wish I could show you the catalog, but we were just not allowed to do that quite yet. I think 11 more days. No, maybe more because it's May 2nd, I think. So, but you'll start to see a lot of um, things made with this. I intend to use these balloons pretty quickly because I have some graduations coming up actually, um, end of May. So here's the paper that goes with that. I'm just gonna take that off. I love the paper. It's kind of got a watercolor look, which if you've seen things that I do before, that's my favorite medium. Um, so you've got these bright colors and a lot of the new colors are in here. So you've got, let's look at the list of colors that it says are in here. So Azure Afternoon is this new blue. Okay, Berry Burst is a returning color. This was a favorite for many people. Um, when it retired, it was an in color for a little while, and then, it, and then you know how the in colors only last for two years, so then it went away, and people were like, oh, I really miss that Berry Burst. So that was a returning one. Um, Lemon Lime Twist, also a returning one, as is Pretty Peacock returning, and Misty Moonlight returning, Lost Lagoon, returning. So this has like this paper pack. They made this one intentionally to use a lot of the new colors. So that's really fun. 
And then Fresh Freesia is an in color that's current, but is it was set to retire. It was set to be done. This was its two year is up, but they decided to add it to the core collection. So there's a lot of colors going on in this paper pack. So this is called Bright and Beautiful, and it's on the same page with the balloons, but really this is a paper pack that you're going to go to again and again. Look at, you've got this all the colors, but then you've kind of got some ombre within the color families. And this is a new yellow. It's called um, Lemon Lolly. It's a little brighter than our So Saffron, which just retired. This is Lemon Lime Twist. So you've got all these colors. So you're gonna use this pack of paper without the balloons and with the balloons and with like everything because it's really got something for everything. Here's another one of the multicolored, but on a diagonal, a little smaller strips. And then on the back, similar, you've got kind of painted looking circles and triangles and some more kind of tone on tone. Here's another multi. I love that one. This one's cute. Here's another. So it's a great pack of paper and it's not, like I said, it's in the balloon section, but you're going to use this again and again and again. Here's some stars and some confetti and some bigger stars. So anyway, I love this paper. Love it. It's called Bright and Beautiful. Now also on the same pack, um, same page with the balloons is another paper but it's more of a, it's like an acetate. And it's called Gold Celebrations. And it's like this acetate with balloons. I hope that you can see that. Maybe if I put some white underneath, you'll see that this one has, oh, that one has confetti. Okay. And then this one has dots. And then this one has confetti. So it's three sheets of acetate paper that'll work really cute with those balloons with the confetti and all the little dots, but also on other projects as well. So really nice uh, acetate paper. I like the polka dot one, probably the best. I think I can see that just on anything because it's like um, almost a bokeh effect, maybe behind something, in front of something. It's really pretty. Okay, another little bundle that I got is circle sayings. And if you're an old time stamper with Stampin' Up! like I am, you probably have a million circle punches. But then for a while they took them out of the catalog and that's because everybody owned them. Circles were everywhere. So they just stopped selling as many circles and they took them out of the catalog because they kind of thought, well, maybe is that a waste of space to have a whole page of circle punches and we don't need them. And plus a lot, they were selling a lot of the layering circle dies. But the thing about dies is that you need the die machine and also it just isn't as easy to take to a class maybe. So like when I go somewhere, if I can take a punch, I'm so much happier. So I love my dies, don't get me wrong, and I use them all the time, but a circle punch, just grab it off my little punch rack and punch in two seconds is awesome. So I really like that they've added it. Now on the catalog, the only one in there is the two and three eighths. But online, there are some more sizes available. They're going to be like online only exclusives. They're currently on back order because when they brought these back <laughs> with the online exclusive was launched last month, they sold out amazingly. I mean, so I think maybe circles were out of the catalog for a little too long and now everybody's happy that they're back. So I was happy that they're back and I bought this. And to go with it is the Circle Sayings stamp. And um, it's got obviously things in circles, things in rays, and it's really kind of cute. But I love, I like this one here. It's a little scene. I don't know why that pleases me, but it does. And this little cupcake. So this is going to be so easy to make a really cute card with some really pretty designer series paper and the circle punch and you're done. And they're bigger than, I wanted to show you that. See how it's a little bigger than on there. You're saying, well, that is bigger than that. But in reality, see, they fit that punch. And I really like this one. So really fun stamp set. And this is sold as a bundle. So I wanted to get that because I was happy to see punches back in the catalog and I love a quick and easy thank you or a quick and easy birthday with a beautiful designer series paper and you're done. So that's great. Circle sayings. Okay, the next one that I got that's in the catalog, if I can find it on this messy desk, is this one. It's so cute. It's called Zany Zoo and I think it's really cute. I don't know if you've watched Zootopia. 
I've watched it a million times with my kids and they really like it but I just think it's a cute stamp set for little kids my kids are a little older now but I do send small kid birthday cards and um, I like to have small kid birthday cards available for my card buffets and things like that so I thought this one was adorable I just love them all and I love coloring so this is great for me and there's really cute dies of course And you've got dies to cut these out, but I don't know if you noticed, but like some of them are performing, like you've got a ballerina or a singer, and the dies are really cute because there's a curtain. So you can have like a little stage. Um, super cute, look at this. It's like got little lines in it, so it kind of looks like gathered circles. I think it's adorable. There's Christmas tree and clouds. It's just a super cute, 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 cute stamp set. Love this stamp set. I mean, I love the dies. I love the stamp set. I love the dies. It's just, it's adorable. It really is. It's just like, you can't make anything that's not going to make someone smile with that one. But to go with that paper, this paper is so fun. Look at that. I love that um, it's kind of mostly black and white, some cute coloring. I love this little fox. So there's not a, see, there's more animals than are in here. Look at this. You've got like a skating, I don't know, is that an ostrich? But let me show you the paper. Okay, now this paper's not using any new colors except for Lemon Lime Twist. But otherwise, look, the backs are all black and white, and the fronts are all these kind of cute animals. Look how cute. You can cut, I love, <laughs> I hadn't noticed the armadillo. Armadillo is kind of a family animal, family joke animal. Armadillo Rodeo, it's a favorite book of the family. Super cute. <laughs> look at the sloth. I love the hedgehog. See, this paper is so cute. <laughs> Look at this frog. He's playing the flute. He's adorable. This one, beaver has some bongos. You can imagine putting all these cute little animals like on a stage with that curtain die. You've got a whole, we've got sheep. You can add people to that um, tiger tutu. Anyway, it's really cute. Now the dies do, here I'm going to show you. The dies do cut out, like see the tiger tutu? does cut out some of them if there's a matching stamp so you probably noticed there was an alligator on one of them and a llama so if you see an animal there is a die and a paper but when you run out of the paper you still have um, the stamps and dies so so cute I think there's one more or two more let me see oh camping animals that's fun camping animals and what's the last one I think I saw that one okay and then on the back like I said, all black and white. So if you don't need all those animals, maybe you've made all the animal cards you could possibly make, you've still got these great patterns. And look how you can color in these flowers if you wanted to with your markers. So anyway, this is a really cute one. I had to have that on my first order. And there's a ribbon pack too, let me find. A ribbon combo pack. I thought these colors were really pretty. Here they are. So you've got Lemon Lime Twist. And this one is, what is this one? I don't know. I'm going to say it's Petal Party. Petal Pink is what I meant to say. Petal Pink and Lemon Lime Twist is what that is. And they're different. There's a little stitching. It's like kind of tone on uh, like white lines and white little stitches. Anyway, super cute. I love that bundle. Okay, another adorable. And I kind of went with a lot of adorable, I have to say this time but there's beautiful in the catalog as well as adorable little monkey anything with a punch even though I did do the zoo crew if there's a punch I'm gonna buy it it's just the way I am and um, I love this monkey and I love that there's a banana so really cute little monkey it's called little monkey and I really enjoy this one super cute love that one okay another bundle that I did purchase I think I only have one more, um, was Crafting With You, and um, of course I got Crafting With You, right? Look, there are brushes. So there's me right there. This and this. And of course, my die cut machine. I am not a knitter, although I wish I was. <laughs> and I have a sewing machine that I haven't used in probably six or seven years, but it's something I do have. And I, there's a lot of crafters. I love this easel with the paint. I love the brushes. It's a really cute. Life is better when you're crafting. So true. Um, and then with love, you can put that like on the back of your cards. 
know, if you want to put a little signature on the back of your cards, you can put with love. So it's made by you with love. I love that. Um, sending you a handmade hug. Also great for the back of your cards. So this has, I had to get this one. This was like instantly on my first order. But even better are the dies. Well, let me show you. Okay, so you have the easel to cut out your easel. You've got, this is actually the paper trimmer. So it has a little, little add-on thing there and you can pretend that it's trimming back and forth. You've got spools. This is the die cut machine, but this is spools. You've got this hoop, you know, to do embroidery. So cute, a little basket for your yarn, little buttons, little things, little, just cute little things. This is scissors, you put the two together and have movable scissors. You can put a little brad in there, uh, a ruler. It's just adorable. Here's the sewing machine, some tiny little things. So the dies for this are amazing. I really like them. I like this little embroidery hoop. I can imagine um, using that and then putting a little image here as if someone had embroidered it. Really cute. And I like this tiny little basket. I think that could be used just filled with flowers if you're not going to use it for your um, yarn. So anyway, super cute. This little paper trimmer cracked me up though. I saw in the catalog it shows the paper trimmer and I thought that was hilarious and I love the scissors. So anyway, adorable. Another one I got, this is my last stamp that I got, but I'll show you all the colors. Um, the stamp is stamped with love and like this, when I was talking on other cards about putting something on the back, I like this one for that too. So it says, I like you, so you get a card. <laughs> Do you have some people that you just don't bother making a card for? I do have maybe one or two, um, but mostly I make a card for everybody. Um, and then on the back here, you can put like this. Imagine uh, this embossed on the back of a card, and then you can sign your name in the center. I think that's real cute. Um, post little post guy here. Now, if you're a demonstrator or someone who likes to sell your handmade cards, like maybe at a craft show or something, this little copyright stampin' up is kind of the legality. So um, a lot of us demonstrators, we need to have a stamp like this. And there's a lot of past ones that have them um, so that you can stamp this on the back of your card because technically the images, the imagery. So if I was to sell something at a craft show, I would stamp this on the back, just real small and tiny little watermark type stamp for the back. And, um, you know, I can still sign my name or put, you know, this, it says Beth's Paper Cuts in it or something like that, um, especially stamped for, and you can put who that's for, just anyway, on the back of your card, really cute. So I like this. If you're a paper crafter who makes a lot of cards and sends a lot of cards or sells a lot of cards, this is a great one for you. Ooh. Okay, let me show you the colors. So we have new in colors, and I haven't even opened them yet because my desk was needed to be tackled first. So these are the new in colors, and aren't they pretty? They're very earthy, and um, I just really like them. This is boho blue, wild wheat, copper clay, moody mauve, and pebbled path. Um, you might say, oh, that looks like tip top taupe, which is what I said, so that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> but it's not. It's a little different. I have some old tip top taupe paper, and I did compare it, and it is not. And there's just a couple really great comparison videos out there, so I'm not going to bother. Um, doing a comparison, but just assure you, if you do buy Stampin' Up! pads, I'm going to show you on one of them what you get. So on the back is this little sticker sheet, and what it is, is of course the label is on here, but if you put yours in a holder, like a little stamp pad holder, I will, which I do, I'll show you mine, um, you want to see the name here. So what you do is you just take this off, and you place it here, there. And then you say, well, why are there all these? Well, these are different um, languages. Did I put the wrong one on there? No, I did not. Okay, so these are different languages. So you're gonna have French, you're gonna have German. Um, yeah, anyway. And then you have one that's blank. So what's that blank one for? Well, that is actually for the inside. Now, I don't know if you're me, but when you've got all your ink pads open on a, and you're using a bunch of them, they all look kind of dark. <laughs> it's like, what is that? So that is for the inside. So you're going to take this. There we go. And you're going to stick it 
on the inside and it goes right here. And that way you can tell it apart from, I mean, look how dark that is. And then if I was to have, let's say I have this open next to it, I mean, that one you can kind of tell is purple, but if I had it next to yet another dark one, you wouldn't know the difference between these two. But if you've got that, and of course I chose some that were extremely close. This one is more light. That's the orchid. This one is starry sky. And let's say you had um, navy. They both look kind of dark and blue. Now mine is full of ink, but those two could be exactly the same except for that little strip. So that's why I do that. Now, since I have the other um, labels, I do use them because sometimes they get turned around on my desk or what have you. So I usually take, um, I like to take the French one because I do French on an app called Duolingo. <laughs> so I like to take the French uh, version and put it here. And um, that's what I do. And that way I've got it in French and English and I can see it from either direction if it's on my desk. See? And then the leftover ones you can just take and you can throw them away. Okay, that is how you put together your stamp pads. Now, markers have changed. So you might have seen that the markers were on the retired list and you thought, what, they're not gonna have markers anymore? And maybe you thought, oh, we're only gonna have stamp and blends. No, we do have markers, but they've changed the tip. So I'm gonna show you an old tip and a new tip. So these are the new ones. And a little scrap. And so this one is that pebbled path. So you've still got this brush end, which we've had before, right? But in the past, our other end was what, hang on, let me grab it. It was inside of plastic, see? So there's just a tiny little hole. So you get a skinny line. This one is actually like felt or some kind of material all the way down. So you've got still a thin line, not quite as thin, but you can still see how thin I can go. I can get pretty thin. And if I use the tip, I might be able to get thin. Yep. I can still get a nice thin line, but the whole thing is ink. And they decided to change it because um, they thought that it would have a longevity. It would last longer than some of these nibs. I mean, this one still works and I'll still use it, but this is the new style. I wanted you to see that. So we are still going to have markers. They're just changed and all of the new ones will be like this. So um, the current style markers are on sale right now. I don't know if there's any left. Um, they're a great deal because they're still our colors. So if you don't have these and you can buy these on sale, maybe do it. Um, but if you want the new ones, you're going to have to wait until the new catalog goes live because any that you buy now are going to be the old style and then going forward they'll be the new style okay and I really like them I think they're great of course and I am looking forward to using them here are the new in colors all together now also with the new in colors there are some pretty um, dots new color dots these go with the new colors and of course there are new color ribbons and here's that pebbled path I keep showing you the pebbled path I think it's pretty it's like a neutral there you go so they've got new and that comes in all of the colors like this okay and I do want to tell you that they did a color refresh like I mentioned so there's like two three new colors in the pastels and a couple new colors in the brights and a couple new colors and you and in the past you've always had to buy an entire family of markers so like all 10 don't worry you don't have to do that so what you can do is when the new catalog comes out instead of buying a whole pack of 10 markers that'll be the new style you can buy the core color as a pack that's new core colors so it only has the two subtles the two bright you know I think there's three subtles the few brights the couple new neutrals like that so it has instead of buying 40 new markers in order to get the entire pack you can get just what's called a core colors pack so it'll have I think let me see 
11 new colors. So it doesn't include the in colors because they're kind of their own little thing. But there's 11 core colors that have been switched around and changed around. So you can buy that pack as a combo pack. Same with ink pads. Like maybe you've already got all the ink pads. You can buy a core color ink pad pack. And that's really fun because then that way you know you've got everything new. Now there is some repeats, so you might want to look at that and do the math. Like maybe you just, you already have fresh freesia, like I do. I have fresh freesia. So I was like, well, do I really want to buy the whole core pack or do I want to buy them individually so that I don't have two fresh freesias? I decided, I decided to buy the whole core pack. It comes bundled all together. And that way now I have two fresh freesias, but that's okay because I always have a raffle at my new catalog kickoff. So I know that this is something that I can use as one of my raffle prizes. So I have two fresh freesias and I also have a fresh freesia marker from previous and I'll get a new fresh freesia marker with the new pack. So there you go. There you have it. Also, um, Misty Moonlight is a new core color. So you have to kind of do the math and say to yourself, all right, do I want to have two? I still kept my Misty Moonlight. Or maybe you've kept some really old things. Like I was so happy because I saw that I still had my pretty peacock, um, ink and I have my pretty peacock markers because it's one of my favorite colors I didn't sell it normally I sell my retired things I did not this time because pretty peacock was a favorite and misty moonlight was a favorite so I still had those but if you don't you can get that pack so hopefully that makes sense if there are any questions at all please feel free to call me because I would be happy to answer them well, let me show you some of the new colors all right, all right these are the in colors we've talked about um, that's that boho blue but a new neutral is pecan pie. Take a look at that one. That's a new neutral. It kind of has, um, I don't know if you remember creamy caramel. See, I'm telling you how long I've been a demonstrator, but pecan pie, really pretty. I like it. It's not quite creamy caramel. Um, it's really a nice color. It's not quite cinnamon cider. It's, it's its own color, but it's great. And it'll make a really good neutral. This one is that lemon lolly. See how bright that is? It's so different than so saffron, which was very muted. This is bright and airy, so this can go, and this is a really cheerful color. Pretty peacock we've had before, but it's a fave, so I'm super happy to see it back. Okay, this is an in color called copper clay. So you saw that, and here's the in color pebble path. That's boho blue. Now this is a returning color from a long time ago, which I loved, and I no longer had my ink pad for it, Lost Lagoon, so I did have to buy another one. I loved Lost Lagoon, great color, um, so I'm super happy to see that back. This one is another in color, Moody Mauve. All right, blueberry bushel. I was lucky enough to still have a pack of paper of this because this was my daughter's, um, this is my daughter's school colors. So when Amos was retiring, I bought some and now it's back. So I'm super happy to see blueberry bushel. This is a brand new color, bubble bath. And I like it, it's a very pale pink. It's got a slight, slight purple to it. No, 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 no. Um, it's very pale, but also looks great next to some bright. So this is a really pretty color. And I think I have a couple more. Let's see berry burst so that's returning lemon lime twist returning this is an in color wild wheat this is a new color azure afternoon this has been put into the brights collection really pretty it kind of is like that tahitian tide but not as bright as tahitian tide but still very pretty and I'm wondering if that tahitian tide was very popular and that's why they added azure see this is a little bit brighter but really cute, pretty color, and Misty Moonlight coming back. So it seems like the color refresh is huge because it, they did add a lot of new colors, but many of them are returning. So you might have some accessories or ribbons in Misty Moonlight that you haven't used up. You might have some colors, very burst um, things that, that you can use now again because the, they came back. <laughs> so this was my little, what's this? Adhesive back salad gems is in my box also. Okay, so that's what I got in my new pre-order. Like I said, I didn't get a ton because I was really focusing on papers and um, the colors. And I got several packs of multi-packs 
because I do have, like I said, a, a new catalog kickoff where I sell off my retired things and I do have a raffle. And um, so I bought some of these multi-packs of core colors. That'll be a raffle prize. And if you live in my area and want to come to my retirement party sale thing, that's going to come up in the first weekend of May and that'll be in Lombard, Illinois. And um, you can contact me for information about that. But if you do not live in my area, once that sale is over and all the regulars that come to my classes and stuff have shopped my sale, I then put all those items that did not sell online on my blog. So you can click that it's called Best Paper Cuts and click the Garage Sale tab and you can see what I have left over. And there's even some stuff from the previous year, so there might be something on there that you might want to see today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you like all the new colors like I do.